What's up, everybody? Jay's here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbees 3 box quick hit basketball mixer is sold out. This is two random scenes each, number two. Again, this features impeccable and two boxes of contenders optic, both 21 22. So here we go, guys. So dice roller, Colin down to JC. Then we got Hawks down to the Wizards. Let's dice roll it. Three and a two, five times. One. Two, three, four, five. Five times, five times. Jason K down to D low. Then we got five times here. One, two, three, four, five. Suns down to the Jazz. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see the Eagles just. Sacking Brock Purdy five six times. I'm being honest. I mean, I'm not trying to say nothing against the 49ers. It's just, I think the, I think a lot of people just underestimate the Eagles D line, <laughs> although they put up major stats this year. But whatever. I like the underdog story. Just keep on doubting them. Jason K with the Suns. Eric with the 76ers. Colin with the Bucks. Jason K with the Pacers. Simon with the T Wolves. Jason K with the Pistons. D'Lo, you have the Knicks. Eric with the Lakers. D'Lo with the Heat. Allen with the Bulls. Danny with the Blazers. Jason K with the Spurs. Allen with the Clippers. Allen with the Grizzlies as well as the Hornets. JC with the Nuggets. D'Lo with the Hawks. Allen with the Magic. Colin with the Kings. Simon with the Rockets. Robert with the Cavs. D'Lo with the Raptors. Thomas with the Mavericks. Allen with the Wizards. Or sorry, not Wizards. Warriors. JC with the Celtics. Allen with the Wizards. And Pelicans. And that's Allen M. Sorry, there's two Allens in here. Fuck. Allen A and Allen M. And I'll, I'll reorganize that right now. Robert with the Thunder, Thomas with the Nets, and then D'Lo with the Jazz. So let me alphabetize that by customer name just because I didn't realize it was two different Allens. But Allen A, those are your four teams. Bulls, Grizzlies, Hornets, Warriors, then Allen M. Clippers, Magic, Warriors, Pelican, uh, Wizards, Pelicans. I think what brought Purdy is that he, they made the, their offensive game plan simple for him. A lot of rollouts, quick passes, and I mean they have so much talent, you know. So it's like, it's like they're they they he's in a perfect position. He's like in a perfect game, a perfect team right now. I just one thing, the one thing I respect about the Four Niners is that they're not like one of our teams. Let's just be honest, right? They're not one of our teams where if you take out Mahomes, you take out Jalen Hurts, you take out Josh Allen, you take out Joe Burrow. I don't know how good our teams really would be. Although our teams are all solid all around. Now, again, the one thing argument that I always like to say, too, is that maybe people don't want to hear it, but a lot of the games they won this year were against teams that were under 500 and just not good. You know, but still to win 10 games in a row in the NFL is still tough. You know, it's not like it's easy. But that's the one thing I will say about the 49ers is that <laughs> they've gone through so many quarterback injuries, man, and they're still there. You know, so they the way they built their offense is uh, as long as their quarterback can make some plays, uh, not turn over the ball, they'll be just fine. Because you have a Christian McCaffrey, because you have a Debo Samuel, because you have a George Kittle, you know. But this is good for the hobby, though. <laughs> for the Purdy hobby. But see, that's the thing. They, they beat a couple... Uh, the couple teams they lost to... Bears early on... I mean, that's early in the season. That was kind of a weird game, right? It was, like, raining. You know, they, uh, they lost to the Chiefs, I remember. I think they were still banged up, though, around that time. Um, but, yeah, a lot of their wins were against teams under 500. I think up until last week... I think up until last week, if you went to go look at it, there was only like two teams they beat that were over 500 the whole year. But of course, last week, Seahawks won. That put them over 500. And then, of course, um, who was the other team? They played another team that put them over 500. So it's like now they have four. It's like the argument I was telling Joe, too, as well. Trey went to close, guys. It's like in the beginning, everybody was saying, oh, man, who do the Eagles play? The Eagles don't play nobody all year. Now, when you look at the season's over, I don't know, man. The Jaguars were actually a pretty good team, right? 
Lions were not bad. They were a pretty good team too, you know. But if you're basing it off of last season, yeah, the Lions were horrible. The the Jaguars are horrible, but obviously a different team, different season. I can't really see the 49ers really just sticking with Purdy, no matter what. I mean, the good thing is that he's cheap. <laughs> He'll be on their roster for sure, unless they want to trade him for something, but I don't think they're going to give up on Lance that fast. But... I guess Super Bowl win talks, right? All right, guys, here we go. Two boxes here of Contenders Optic 21-22, and then a box of Impeccable Hobby. I don't know. The Eagles won a Super Bowl with uh, Nick Foles, and they still kept Carson Wentz. Granted, Carson Wentz, two years later, not the next year because he got injured, but two years later took the Eagles to, uh, to uh, playoffs, but got hit in the back. Of a playoff game against the Seahawks and was out for the game, so ended up losing that game. Pick and roll. Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam. And then we got Evan Mobley. Exactly, D'Lo. See? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a lot different from what the start of the season, though. But everybody's like, oh, man, who have the Eagles played? All right, Jalen Brunson, Vooch. That's a Cade Cunningham. I believe that's like a variation or something. And then legendary contender is Tony Parker. Yeah, it's unfortunate what happened to Trey Lance, honestly, because I think he would have balled out this year. I really do believe he was going to ball out this year. That one game with oh, it's all raining and stuff, you know, that, whatever. You know, they lost to the Bears, right? It was, like, disgusting. To 99, Cape Cunningham. Detroit Pistons, that's going to Jason K. And then the autograph is going to Jason K as well. But I really do believe uh, he would have balled out this year, but he got injured. How are we supposed to know? Sweet shots, Bradley Beal. And then we got uh, Carl Malone with John Stockton. Darren Fox, Zion. R.J. Barrett Blue to 99. And then a rookie ticket of Sims. For the Knicks. And then Knicks is D. Low. All right, guys, here's the big boy stuff. All right, we got Trey Young, little uh, stainless stars. Metal card that is 38 99. Going to the Atlanta Hawks and D Low. Here we go, guys. Keldon Johnson is uh, 75 with a Aaron Gordon at 25. And those Denver Nuggets, man, I think they're going to be in the finals, man. They're so good. It's so deep. Finally, Jamal Murray's balling back from that injury after like three years. 
I can't believe he was out that long. I think Jokic is out, but they're still balling. All right, we got a Sadiq Bay, 36 out of 99 for the Detroit Pistons. Uh, for what sports, Sam? We're talking NFL still. Uh, Kendrick Nunn, forty-two of ninety-nine. NBA. Whew. I don't know. I think it's still too early to tell, but. Half season MVP? It's probably Luka Giannis. Probably, right? Luka's still on a tear. I love the Thunder. I would have put SGA in there, but I don't think he would get any votes, anyways. Throwing LeBron James as well. LeBron James for what he's doing in year 20? No one else is ever going to do that. 38 out of 99. Greg Brown. But I, I think it should be Luka. For, for now, you know. There's still another half a season, so. Portland. Going to D-Lo. We have Glenn Rice. Extravagance. 95 and True, I mean, either one of those guys are, are worthy of it. Redemption, we'll save that for last. And how about a Trey Young? D Low last spot mojo, 22 out of 25. I'm sure if you take Giannis out of the equation, I'm sure, obviously, Milwaukee might not be as successful, but I think without Luka without Dallas, I probably is the worst, I'd assume, as well. But either, all, all of those guys are worthy, man. They're all superstars. All right, Illustrious Inc. Here we go. Card number 16. Paul Pierce. Now, let me double check that that goes to the right team because, I mean, did play for the Nets, did play for the Clippers, <laughs> and I don't want to, you know, give it to the wrong one. Probably, Sam, but overall as a team, it's because they're better. I mean, but that doesn't mean that, like, Giannis would not be worthy of it. If he puts up better numbers than Luka, then obviously it's a numbers game. All right, illustrious ink set. Car number 16, Paul Pierce, Celtics. There you go. So Celtics is going to JC. Yeah, I don't know if I want to remember him in like a Clipper <laughs> or any of those other teams. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, like I said, it's a big hit or make, big hit or miss kind of break because obviously it's only three boxes and some pretty high end stuff, but still a nice Trey Young there, Greg Brown, and then of course we did get uh, that Tony Parker over here, and then that Paul Pierce redemption. So, appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.